Sally is so dependent on her coffee that she is willing to pay a very high price for it. However, coffee is in abundance. Market forces push the price of coffee down to a lower price, called the market price. As the price becomes lower, the quantity of coffee demanded increases. This is due to the downward sloping nature of the demand curve. Sally therefore pays far less for coffee than she is actually willing to and saves a lot of money. The amount of money that is saved is called the consumer surplus. The consumer surplus is depicted by the area above the market price and below the demand curve. Mark is willing to sell his coffee at a very low price. However, due to the adequate market demand for coffee, Mark is still able to sell at a much higher price, the market price. The additional amount of money that Mark is able to make by selling coffee at the market price is called the producer surplus. Because Mark is able to sell his coffee at a high price, he is now also willing to produce more of it. This is due to the positive sloping nature of the supply curve. The producer surplus is depicted by the area above the supply curve and below the market price. Movement in the price and quantities demanded or supplied does have an impact on the producer and consumer surpluses.